Hi everybody, this is Craig Tiener for the Mindful Eye and the photo of the week on the Daily Critique. This week's photo of the week was submitted by Lewis, who is an intermediate photographer from Georgia. And we have quite a bit of backstory here, but I want to save the backstory uh, for further along uh, in the video presentation today on the photo of the week. Because if I give you much backstory at all, it's going to give away something about the process of finishing this image um, that I think will be a lot more fun if we talk about the image first and give you a chance to really look at it and sort of try to imagine um, what Lewis has done here besides just take the picture. One of the things that I loved about this image when the submission came in was color. Um, the color to me seemed to be extraordinary and as I started to look close at the image I thought hey you know I think something else is going on here and then I did read the backstory and then I was in on Lewis's process but outside of the fact that the color is extraordinary so you're sort of expecting to look at this scene which is Lewis's kitchen sink and to see a lot more chrome just really beautiful to see uh, yes the chrome of the sink is there but then you have this feeling of more of a patinaed uh, look um, on the silverware and um, y you know we could sort of call this a bronze or coppered look but really beautiful the way these two metallic ideas from a color standpoint are not only playing off of each other but really helping the silverware um, as a subject to have a lot more dimension and depth um, I love the, the water droplets. That's adding another layer of information, another pattern, another overlay. And one of the things I loved about this image is, is I looked at it and sort of leaned into it, made it bigger on my monitor. Um, I love this texture. So I started to really be taken in first by the color, and then I started really be taken in by all these different levels of information in a subject matter uh, that you know you would think of being per pretty flat just shooting straight into the bottom um, of your sink and then I uh, started to really be taken with these other colors just these touches of, of pastels and, and, uh, and brighter colors um, that are playing now with uh, the metallic colors and I love how some of those colors like this pastel blue even comes up in some places um, on the silverware. The other thing that I love about this image is I love the fact that the composition looks off-handed and there's quite a bit of tension in this composition for me. I almost feel like I want to reach in and rearrange this a little bit to sort of make it perfect, particularly this utensil here as it runs along the edge and some of the negative space starts to sort of uh, open up and seem a little bit overwhelming and flatten out, but then you have the overlay of the color and the texture. This is an image that I personally think would either work either very small really well uh, very small smaller than you're seeing now which is unfortunate about the presentation today this size to me is not the optimum size for this I'd like to see it either very small or huge wall size something very very big I, I just have that feeling um, about this image um, last thing before we before I let you know the backstory that I love about this is just this concept of uh, you know every picture that we take goes through one filter even if you don't own a filter it goes through the filter of what we believe to be true about the creative process as it relates to our photography and um, one of the biggest limiting beliefs that photographers have in my opinion is this idea that their photography is connected to places that are extraordinary and um, you know how many times are we photographing the bottom of our kitchen sink um, not enough. We're not photographing the things that are available to us all the time uh, enough. And the thing about looking at these things that are ordinary um, is it, it helps us um, to have a better life. It helps us to appreciate just what we're experiencing all the time instead of living for the vacation or living for the workshop or whatever it might be that we think is going to allow us to somehow engage. It also helps us to see. It just helps us to become better at seeing. When we um, start to look at things that may be mundane or ordinary and we think about things that we might do as artists relative to those things to give them just another layer of information. And maybe it is just as simple as framing uh, in the right way. In this case, Lewis has really had a lot of fun with finishing the photograph. And so I just want to say something about that. Um, you know, one of the limiting beliefs that photographers have is that it all has to be done in the camera. And I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that approach. Uh, that's fine if, if that's sort of a place that you're coming from. 
But the reality is that really doesn't have much at all to do with photography as an art form or medium. Um, slide film is a fairly new concept and slides sort of started to push us in that direction of it's in the camera and also cameras being used to document so the so-called truth for the news and, and, and other things uh, from a societal standpoint. But you know the history of photography is uh, shooting a negative and when you're shooting a negative it's a foregone conclusion that what you do with that negative in terms of finishing and printing is a huge part of the process. So one of the really fun things about the image today is that Lewis shot this on an old film camera, one of my favorite cameras I've ever owned, the Nikon F3. This is the first professional camera I ever owned. He used an 85 millimeter lens, F1.8, aperture of F5.6, shot this at a 30th of a second and handheld, and boy do I pine for the days when I could shoot my film cameras at shutter speeds that were lower than my focal length, because you could get away with it on film. Digital, um, you know, gives and it takes away. It has an incredible ability to resolve detail, but the price that we pay for that is any little problem, and the capture process is exaggerated, and one of those problems uh, that's very hard to overcome is hand holding at shutter speeds below the focal length of your lenses. And Lewis uh, shot this on T-Max 400 film and uh, used uh, window light, the window light's very beautiful here, made a black and white print then coated the print with a texture and rubbed it off in some places and you could so you can see where after painting the texture on he's come in and he's manipulated the texture in some places and then Lewis got out the paints painted the silverware of sepia and then started to add some pastel colors and then he re-photographed the print digitally and made this image and um, so I um, love the image also love the process here I love the idea of the capture is just the beginning and I love the idea you know I've been saying for a while now hey I'd want to get a 35 millimeter film camera and sort of play around with film again and I think we are going to start to see a little bit of renaissance of that just a huge thank you uh, to Lewis for inspiring all of us to uh, reconsider the ordinary and the everyday and uh, to also be open from a belief system standpoint about creativity to all of the things that we can do after we've clicked the shutter and I want to say a huge thank you to all of you for being here supporting the mindful eye hope you have a great weekend